What's up, Jesse? What's up, man? Is this your first time or what? Uh, dude, you know what? This is actually my second time. I made up. <laughs> by the time, by the by the third time around, maybe we get it, maybe we get it right. <laughs> but um, dude, uh, congrats first of all for being in this movie, Ambulance. Uh, what a fun movie, you know, especially anybody that lives in LA. Uh, you really got a taste of of like, you know the urban settings and all that kind of stuff. Tell me about how, how you got uh, to be part of this movie. Uh, it was just an, it was an audition. I got, I think I taped for one other part. I, um, I taped for um, one of the cops. I can't remember which one I auditioned for. And then they brought me in for something else for this, uh, the Roberto role. And um, when I got that, I kind of did some like funny angles and, and crazy stuff with it. And I don't know, I guess I got it. Yeah, that's amazing. So what was it like working with Michael Bay? I mean, I heard that his productions are like, you know, like a military operation, like on speed dial. It's it's interesting. It's um, it, it's it's funny because the, the costumes were telling me, asking me if I like if I ever worked with Bay before. And, and I was like, no. And they're like, just just be ready. Just be ready. Anything could happen. Um, you know, he thinks he thinks a mile a minute. He's kind of like. And it's kind of cool. Once I got on set, I could see, like, oh, okay, I can see how he's looking. He's doing things. He's he's playing chess on set, you know. So it, it it was interesting to watch him while something's being set up. A scene that we're working on is being set up, or he's having to get lights adjusted or something like that. He looks, he sees something out of the corner of his eye, and he goes, Jesse, go stand over there and um, look for, look for look for helicopters or look for something. You know what I mean? He'll so do this thing or say this line or or something. So it was kind of cool to. And everyone had to be on their toes, and it was it was a very interesting set, you know. No, it wasn't really kind of like places like a, for for everybody to chill and sit, and because it was like if you were in his eye line, you were in his in his way. So it was like it was a uh, it, it it was it was very fast paced. You had to be always be on your feet, on your toes, just kind of like ready to ready to go whenever Mike wanted to do something. That's amazing, man. So tell me about the character. <clears throat> um. Roberto's, um, he's, he, he, he kind of runs this uh, organization with his dad and um, they're, you know, associates and friends with, um, with Jake, who's kind of like kind of leading this uh, heist. Um, they get into some trouble. Jake calls me, gets some permission from my dad, um, played by A. Martinez, to kind of like get some help and, you know, settle some debts and everyone makes a little bit of money, but, you know, shit goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all right but like in real life when people are in trouble they call you too right jesse that's kind of like your thing oh, it's mostly like for psychological and, me and mental it's like hey man what do i do you're like an amateur you're like an amateur psychologist so like you know your generation of actors in hollywood something like that yeah <laughs> um dude so uh <clears throat> the movie comes out like hard release dvd blu-ray all that stuff on demand uh, I, I, you know, <clears throat> I got a feeling this is the kind of movie that's going to get a wider audience once it's in demand and people start watching it, you know, uh, people are just kind of slowly getting back to the movie theaters and this kind of came out in a cut towards the end of the pandemic where people m might still be a little reluctant to go in the theaters, but I, I feel that this is the kind of movie that's going to pick up steam once it gets out there on demand, right? Like, is yeah, it's going to yeah. build a bigger audience? I think so. I think it was funny because I have a lot of friends who text me or, or email, like, hit me up on Instagram. Like, it's like, yo, I didn't know you were in this movie. It's like, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm terrible about Instagram and posting. Um, but it's like people are now starting to, to see it. And, and I knew that that's how it was going to go. It was just once people got on, you know, on demand and the Blu-ray and DVD, and that's when people are going to kind of see it. Was there any like physical <clears throat> preparation for this role, that stunts, training, that kind of thing that you took part in? Or I mean, I think not in particular, uh, uh, there was a bunch of stunts. There's lots of action, running, um, uh, but I think I, I don't know. Maybe Mike saw my reel from the action stuff that I've done in the past, from Dust Till Dawn, and you know, a handful of other things. I, I you know, like the, 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 a lot of this. Lot, I feel like from Dust Till Dawn really kind of like set the pace and training. I'm like super grateful for Robert Rodriguez and. Uh, um, and all of the training that I got doing that show, that felt like it's it prepped me for doing a movie like this, being able to walk on set, kind of knowing, um, you know, an idea of what he wants and being able to give him a look of like come something fun, you know what I mean? Without, you know, uh, without, you know, with having a lot of confidence doing it. 
you know, a lot of the characters that you play, whether they're like, you know, uh, on the <clears> side <throat> of the law or, or, or they're involved in shady stuff, they always have like this, this good aspect to them because I think that's that you exude that. But dude, I, I want to see you play like a real evil character one day with no redeeming qualities. I want, I, I yeah. want to see you just dive into the dark side. I feel that's coming yeah. down. To, no, no, no I do too. I do too. I like people always ask me what my dream role is, and I was like, I kind of, I really want to do my version of uh, of Javier Bardem's role in No Country for Old Men. Like, I want to, I want to do my version of that. It's, it'll be different. It's like a little, uh, 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 but I want to do something like that. Um, where you, where you still root for him. Like you almost kind of like Venom, you know what I mean? Like he, Venom's kind of a bad guy, but you still root for him and like there's still good there. You know what I mean? I like that you're, I, I like the reference to Venom. That means that when you go watch a comic book movie, it's usually one of the like, you know, more obscure, cooler characters and not like the mainstream ones. That that's, is that your taste? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I yeah, yeah. I like, I, I, I find, you know, the good parts of every, all of them and how to root for him. Like I find, uh, I find the artistry very attractive. If you do that, that your version of Country for Old Men, it has to take place in Wyoming because that's where you're from, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. We need more movies in Wyoming, bro. I know. I know. I actually shot in Wyoming because a lot of movies set in like uh, I think Outer Range is set in Wyoming, but it's shot in Mexico. Yeah. Awesome. And do uh, and do the, about- and, and do the proper accents. Everyone tries to add a southern accent in Wyoming. It's like we don't. Nobody's, nobody talks like that. You know what I mean? It's funny. Uh, correct them, please. So la- last thing about Ambulance <laughs> is, is, is really like the, <clears throat> the character that the city plays. It, it, you know, Los Angeles is a very unique film. I, I, I'm sorry. Los Angeles is a very unique uh, uh, city. Um, it's When people come here, it's not what they expect because it's kind of spread out. But there is, you know, an urban core uh, where shit goes down. But tell me about how like the city really, really was the main starring character in a lot of ways in this film. Um, I mean, if you saw the cinematography and the drone work and like just how 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 Mike and his team was able to kind of feature the city and, and really, you know, like you said, make it a character, um, you get a, and it was like, and oftentimes you don't get a really featured downtown LA and downtown LA really played a, a central part of it like the, the the shadows and the lines and kind of like you know where um and i mean you can get metaphorical with it. it's like how you know the, the darkness within the city but it's also kind of it can also be your savior you know what i mean so there's a lot it, it was really featured and i think mike and his team did a really good job of it yeah, man, it's a, it's a great film you were great in it i gotta point out that you have a stack of books behind you that's cool because that means you read Right, they're not. They're oh, nice, nice. All right, but look, man, I got a few behind me, bro. I see you. I see you. Okay, I've read some of most of these books. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading. I, I I absorb them through osmosis. Hell yeah, man, because you're, you're a mystical being, dude. Uh, good catching up with you. Congratulations. Um, uh, I'm gonna check out this movie again, and uh, can't wait to see what's next for you, bro. Thanks, brother. It's good to see you.